welcome to my power to strike today I'm going to show you how to design your own logo very easy simple steps let's go so click on start you can put typewriter in Microsoft PowerPoint you're going to pull it right away uh, yes. nowadays everybody have this software I don't think so anybody missing it it's a common and it's not costly one so it's good so once you open it, you're going to open directly the design uh, view of it. So we're going to go and again, I, as I told you, man, you know, thanks to Mr. Bill Gates, it's, it's a messy. So all the, the designs are there. So as I told you, the one I use it for my uh, um, logo, so I already downloaded. So you can go ahead and uh, open a new, then that's a um, step by step. So suppose that's a blank presentation. So it's going to open up for you guys. I'm going to close the other one. I don't need it. So it's a blank presentation is gone. So you can design. There's a more and more design that's in here. It's all the templates. You don't need to you know, go and poke around. So you can move over the mouse. See, you can see. Like, you, you can pick it. It's your imagination. So you pick whatever you want. But uh, right now, I have it only. I selected mine. So I'm going to, um, I put it in uh, my computer for all the do-it-yourself videos or you know in my computer I have a five hour drive so not everybody need to run um, that's for my backup numbers so I went to the matrix and I have the Microsoft um, this one I downloaded already and open it it's all all right you can see so this is the one I use this templates I use for my logo so there's a two um, bar the chair the text box is there so I, I don't want both of them so first my my thing is my logo so i'm going to minimize it so you, you, know, you can separate you can move around you can play around and we will get rid of this one so make sure move the mouse you want to see that uh, the four point then you cut just you don't want to get rid of it all right so you can move it here so first uh click on it you're going to type your logo name so mine is the power to strike so i put power so you type the whatever name your logo and you know minimize it okay and again this this letter uh, it's so big so I'm gonna select here let's see uh, this is a good size that's for now the video purpose 36 and um, we have lots of option here you can select uh, the, the style so um, I selected, uh, I, I want kind of sports kind of look, uh, uh, it, again, like, uh, it's your freedom of your choice. Let's see, pick up something is you know, sports kind of look. Uh, again we don't want everything uh, that's a scary so okay we don't want the, the all of them are lower case because my logo one look at the first power p has to be uppercase the other one you know lower then two t want to go again uppercase the other one is a little smaller there so, so let's see friendly let's select this one all right so it's just for the pretty how to strike so I'm going to make it first as a piece of capital. Okay, now you can type it. Okay. Alright, uh, I said, uh, so just I select this letter. But again, it's your choice. Again, you can move on it. Yes, there. Okay, the problem, the main thing you need to focus on it. So if, if you select like this, just the text box, it's not giving any option to you know, modify it as a picture. So the, the you know the, the pretty of the, the PowerPoint, Microsoft, you know, they are ruling the world, a couple of them. So Microsoft, one of them. So if you do like this as a text, you cannot do anything. You cannot modify the picture. So what you're going to do, you, you know, you may select this in the box, right click, you create a way, you're going to four pointer. So you're going to move your mouse, then right click, say copy. Okay, here's the beauty. Okay, move anywhere in the empty space your mouse. Then going to say right click again. You're going to paste as a picture. So you can see I'm not 
pasting as the same theme, so the second option is a picture. So you're going to paste it as a picture. All right, now it's a picture. Okay. So now I want to get rid of this the original text box one because that's a useless. Uh, you cannot edit too much. All right, so this is my real uh, the picture I pasted. Again, I want to get rid of this big uh, giant big box. I don't want it. It's a useless one. Uh, so I'll get to them here and make it here and cut it. Boom, gone. All right, here is the fun part. You want it? I love it. You, you know, you everybody enjoy. You don't pay anybody to you know create your logos. Yeah, you go. all right. So this, I told you, right? This is a picture. So what you're gonna do? Double click it. Look at here in the top of the. It's gonna open up massive options. So now you can paste it as a border, like a soft edge. Then this is the one normally like if you guys select to make what, what kind of style you want it. See the frame, the black color is not gonna show the frame, the round shape, which is I selected for my logo. I want like oval shape. But here missing all the logos are here, all the shapes, and you can select whatever you want. It's power. This end of the frame is not showing because my background is a black color, but when you start to modify it's gonna show you separately. Okay, so I'll go back to my logo design, so I'm putting it as this over shape. Alright, so if you want to make it bigger, you want to make it bigger, you want it small, so I, I keep it this as a size for the purpose. So, okay, this is selected, and here on the right hand side, on the, on the toolbar, there's a more option for you. Alright, so here, you want to select. So, we did it this one, then picture effect. So if you click on the picture effect, okay, I'm going to move a little bit to show, then I will I'll place it back because it's going to hit in there. So picture effect, all right. So here, there's so, so many options. You can you can feel it. It's going to press it one, and it's a background. See the shapes are changing. So it is kind of uh, all the shapes and the 3D formats, and you have a more 3D option. You can click and go ahead, like uh, you know, play around, guys, play around. So I go there. The one I selected this option because I want some nice 3D shape of my uh, picture. Again, this is to went all the way up. So here's the, the circle kind of bar here. Just make it down. Okay. So now everybody can see. I'm gonna make it a little wider. All right. There you go. Go go go. That, that's nice. I'll turn it on the side here. All right. So here I did the first part of it. Still, you know, you can go glow or for reflection if you want the glow like that you want like fire it's a power so but i don't want the main logo to be too much uh, mess around I, I, it's, it, I need the it's need to catch the people's eyes so you know, so you get a bluish color it's okay i'm leaving like that then you can put a soft edge um so this one it's really it's going to blend with your uh, the background so i don't want to do that one so here again are you able to see now I was popping out the letter, so you can, you can, so this is looking good, so I, I select this one, maybe it's something different, I don't want to copy exactly the one I made it, or oh, by, by the way, you can change this font color on, so it's, it's up to you, and now it's a bevel shape, um, so you can solve, you can internally, concave, this is good, looking good, this one nice, and again, I'm going to go 3D rotation, like a, look at the front part, you can rotate it, like a, whatever shape you want it, and whatever the style, whatever the direction. So this, this is going to give like an internet, nobody can see it, so I'm happy with my selection. Alright, so now I'm moving here, this is going to be my, the main, uh, the lower power to strike. So I move it here. And I hope it's settled down here. All right, that's here. Okay, so right now this is the default Microsoft uh, the background. I'm going to insert one more picture the way scientific because I I do everything but do it to yourself and my 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 main focus is everything mangi si mangi do. So here's the place I'm going to put the pictures. I already save it. Uh, normally I get a good images. I save it. So this is the background going to be my main. Uh, 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 team. So what I'm going to do, so this one simply I'm going to track and drop here, power. So that's I already made it my logo. So so make sure just put it here, 
just drag it anywhere you don't 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 worry about it so we're going to fix it now all right it's key in here all right i have moved a little bit here for the so everybody can see okay here the picture the picture is very small it's, it's mean nothing now so here is the corner this is like a proportionally it's going to expand if you pull it here see, it's like a, it's kind of wide and narrow so we are going to make exactly the same ratio so corner and your mouse click on your so left click mouse hold it and pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it, pull it, pull it. just get as well okay so you don't worry about it so hey my part is right don't worry we're going to do it all right going to push it down so now i'm going to explain because here is too much showing uh I, I want this picture to be a blended with uh, the background so i'm making a little bit uh, on the right and left so i don't want too much reddish showing there so get get in here looking awesome all right don't worry about these edges i'm going to show another trick for you guys right now this is i copy as a picture so again i told you if we copy directly as a text box it's not going to give the option to modify or edit now this is the picture so it's selected again double click your left side mouse again it's opening the format pattern so here the one i already explained you, you can put any shape you want it uh see black kind of frames are going to show and then it's the shape this kind of kind of on the, on the two corners of the rectangle it's a cut and here change the shape uh here and there's some more option here in the mount circle here's like a kind of oval shape pattern uh, the edges a bevel i don't want like this okay so i want to go back because our purpose this picture has a blend into that my background microsoft so i'm going to choose this one this option here soft edge just select this one select it so now you can uh, you know move around here and there all right but still you can see the picture the edges are showing right so you're going to select like that one more time go for the picture effect and then you're going to go soft edge so here here's the the, the best here the one at 10.25 point i i selected at a few uh, five zero fifty points so that's the way nobody can see that uh, you copy from uh, uh you know, the source so you okay, you can make it bigger a little bit now uh, you see that side that's going to be blunted so this is gone now so um, uh, I, I think we go for the um, soft edge um, 25 but I, I want to hide that uh, reddish part in this I don't want to show too much because 15 25 is good like this all right you, you know this option you can insert the text if you want to add some more words you can add it more here but i don't want it now just the logos it's good so it's blended now it's a power tester right? i want to show something power you know strike power me it's a power man power you need some so i have the icon here so i'm going to bring it here as a picture or again it's as a picture so it's good power there's some simple claim so I, I don't want to be big so i'm going to proportional small small down here so i'm leaving here just to show because if normally my logo you can see this this side but in, in order to edit this purpose i'm putting here again I'm going to give us some kind of nice look for this logo so the back so i'm making like this okay again this is the picture so double click you have the option to edit so now well, again, we'll go picture effect and go in glow. Look at I want the picture to be in a power. No, I, I like the red color, so I, I'm selecting kind of reddish or orange because I, I like that. So, if you want more color, so glow, you can select this one. Again, go here, picture effect, glow, and go for the more color. I want like a reddish, reddish dark, or well, no more red. That is always good as a power and prosperous. All right, so it's here now. So normally, I'm I, my original spot will be here, power next to my power to strike. So I'm going here. All right, so I want to make a shadow underneath, like you know, you know, it's like a strike thunder. So I put a picture. So I'm going to give. Um, there's a reflection. I can put like a this much reflection, this much. Oh, I don't want too much uh, spoiling my main picture. This one. All right, so now you can see I'm pushing here. Here you go. You guys notice the small reflection again, guys. You guys can play around. 
So this is the reflection here. Oh, that's my logos ready now. So you see, less than 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. So you can move around. All right, you can write, type it, anything you want it. Boom. So the final part, when you want to put in a Facebook or YouTube or your Instagram, you don't want to save as a PowerPoint presentation because this is no way you're going to upload it. So go to File. There's a Save As. There's an option. You can select your path. I'm to just, you know, do it in majors. I'm going to put like our name is uh, my logo. So type in anything you want it. My logo new. Because I have already a template. So I'm going to choose here as the main option. Save as type here. Go down here. There's the option to PNG. You can save it. I like JPG because it's most of the JPGs are easy to upload anywhere and most of them are accepted. So my logo new and click save yeah just save current slide only because we need this only the this jpg picture to upload it so current slide only save all right close it close it uh you, you can keep this presentation if you want it save it because you know you know in future you want to add something you can add it the text box but i don't want it i have already so um, i'm just i'm going to cancel it don't save it all right so images here you go my new logo new so I would double click it. Now you can see. Ooh, cool. Like uh, you can um, make it bigger and see how pretty is that your logo. You design. You design, man. Come on. You don't go any printing press. Nothing. So within 10 minutes, your logo is ready. And now uh, you can ready to upload it. Or you, you can take it any printing press. You can print it for your, you know, purpose to your business to grow. That's it. And uh, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please uh, thumbs up or subscribe because my purpose, whatever I know, I want to show to everyone because there's uh, so many things. There is a world that's filled with all the resources. We are not inventing anything. There's everything is there. Only you have a willing power and your time. So, mangi see, mangi do. Again, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.